guys, we, we only have a couple more awards to go. Don't try to sneak out the back because people stayed and clapped for you, so you stay and clap for them. It's almost over. You know how we do. Okay, but we're not going to do it tonight. Here we go. Since the subject of our next honoree can't take all the seats on the Supreme Court, we're going to have to ask the patriarchy to take all the seats, please, for the notorious RBG. I didn't have my glasses on earlier, and I was like, the notorious B.I.G. Wait, what? I got the whole thing wrong, but I got it right now, so let me continue. The country is the country's most unlikely pop culture icon, 86-year-old Supreme Court Justice Ruth Boehner Ginsburg. Now in her 26th year on the bench, she, there is zero evidence that she has any intention on giving up that seat anytime soon. And she may not be in the Marvel universe, but she's definitely a Marvel. Like any superhero, she has her own origin story and even her own theme song, I'll Fight, by Jennifer Hudson. Bursting through the glass ceiling without a scratch, here is RBG. Lean back. Good. Yep. And pull yourself up. Exactly. Good. Trying to bring your chest down to the ball. All right, good. They're real push-ups, right? They're not girl push-ups. No, they, they, they are very real, yes. I've heard that she does 20 push-ups three times a week or something. I mean, we can't even get off the floor. We can't even get down to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I have had the great good fortune to share life with a partner truly extraordinary for his generation, a man who believed at age 18, when we met, that a woman's work, whether at home or on the job, is as important as a man's. I became a lawyer in days when women were not wanted by most members of the legal profession. I became a lawyer because Marty supported that choice unreservedly. The Academy Honors RBG, here to accept the honor, is director-producer Betsy West and director-producer Julie Cohen. Thank you so much. When Ruth Bader Ginsburg is asked, when will there be enough women on the US Supreme Court? She has a ready answer. When there are nine. <laughs> In that spirit, uh, we would like to acknowledge the extraordinary women of Team RBG, editor Carla Gutierrez, camerawoman Claudia Rashke, Composer Miriam Cutler, executive music producer Bonnie Greenberg, songwriter Diane Warren, and the champion women of CNN Films, Amy Antelis, Courtney Sexton, and Alexandra Hannibal. Yay. RBG is the first documentary about a sitting Supreme Court justice, one who occupies a pivotal role in our democracy and has an extraordinary backstory as the legal architect of the modern women's movement. We began in 2015, before the Me Too movement took off, before Time's Up, and before our political landscape reached a fever pitch of incivility. When we finished three years later, the world had changed. 
We are thrilled that RBG has resonated with people of all generations and genders and even some differing political perspectives. She is truly inspiring. The two reactions we hear most often from viewers, one, how did I not know her whole story? And two, I frickin' needed that. <laughs> so the biggest thanks of all go to our extraordinary leading lady. This year, as Nisi mentioned, at age 86, Justice Ginsburg has recovered from her third cancer surgery. <laughs> and is tackling her job on the Supreme Court with the same fierce determination that she holds a plank. So, so in that spirit, here's to you, Justice Ginsburg. Yeah.